So we left mm-hmm. off with the main character looking through a hole and not seeing much of anything. Um, we know there's a bookshelf and some and a picture frame on that bookshelf. Hi, so no toki. Gachi gachi, gachi gachi, gachi gachi, gachi gachi to oto gashita. At that time, there was a sound. A sound like gachi gachi. Gachi gachi. Kono oto wa yoku shiteiru. This sound I know well. Perfect. Igure, Igure no kimi, Kuroga. Mochi. Ara. Naku. Just have ah, but it's actually do. Aruite. Aruite iru. Kiken no otoda. Good guess for kiken. It does start with ki, but it's actually kikai. Kiken is dangerous. Kikai no otoda. I, I know this sound well. Um, it is cl- the Lord of Twilight clothes. Mochi arute. Aruite is to um is the sound of the machine um working, right? Hi, that's a good guess. Uh, mo- mochi aruite. However, we have kuroga mochi aruite as modifying the kikai. So the machine is walking. Is it walking with the particle is- ga marking the doer? A subject marker. Crow ga mochi aruiteru. Mochi arute iru. The iru is modifying the kikan. That is correct. Right, Moni? This is a relative clause describing um the kikai or the kikai no oto. However, so relative so. clauses are very interesting. I think I'll do a little lesson on them for you. Relative clauses. So if I had a sentence like, um, uh, let's say, um, dorobo wa heya ni haita. What does that mean? Um, right. the thief entered the room. Hi. So I could turn this into a relative clause if I wanted to. One example, which is the one you're thinking of, is this way. However, if you wanted to, you could easily instead say Both of these are perfectly great relative clauses. So the relative clause, the noun that's at the head, the noun that's being described by relative clause, doesn't have to be the subject of the sentence. This is why particles in Japanese are very important. Because a particle tells you what is going on with this verb. Since ga is the doer, we know that the dorobo is doing haidu, and the other thing that's needed with haidu is ni. So we can assume that this is the knee particle. Similarly, in the other one, since heya is being marked with knee, we can assume that this is right here is actually the ga, the insinuated ga, basically. So with relative clauses, the head of the phrase does not have to be the subject. And that's what's confusing you right here. You're thinking that um, the head of this phrase is kikai. However, the particle ga is up here. Kuro ga. So it means that kuro is doing the verb mochi aruiteru. And this is somehow describing the kikai. Most likely the 
object that's the particle that has been the thing that's been taken away from the original sentence is o, the object, which is the kikai. So theoretically, the sentence was Higure no kimikuro ga kikai o mochi aruiteru. Was most likely the original sentence, which then got turned into a relative clause. Kind of all, right? Funny. Hi. So the sound he is he is uh walking. Hi, crow is watching. And it produces the sound. What does mochi mochi mean? Mochi mochi aruite mochi. He he's holding. So he, so so. Mochi. He, Hi. So when walking he's around, he's holding while he's walking. Yes. Exactly. And this holding doesn't have to be holding in your hand. It just means it's on his possessions when he's walking. So it could be in his pocket, for example, or in his backpack or in his purse, anything like that. So basically on him, he has a machine that makes noises, which is probably making this ka-ching, 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 ka noise. mochi. It is the sound of the Lord of Twilight Crow walking as he possessing the machine. Good guess. But this is the thing with relative clause is that theoretically you can modify this verb or the other verb depending on context. Contextually, we can assume it's the sound of the machine that you know relative clause marker that crow carries with him versus machine sound that um crow carries with him i guess that also makes sense in english so you could do either machine sound that is carried with crow it is the sound of the machine that he's carried with him right That time ago, I it was a stupid thing that I did. It was a foolish thing that I did. ポケットの中身を吸ったのだ。something I should it it's 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 in my context that I should be talked I want to know I whether Pro is carrying something. That's a good guess. That's basically what it's saying, but if I was trying to say it's in English, I'd just say what Crow is worried holding what Crow has on him versus saying whether or not. Because we have a what in the sentence. Nanual. What is crow carrying? What is crow carrying? I want to know. So, so I place this, I suit that into the, mm -hmm. I suit that into the inside of the pocket. Nice. So, nakami. The content of the pocket. Hi, perfect. Hi. Do you know what sutta means? It's related to the word suti that we saw a while ago back in chapter one. Suti is a pickpocket. Hi, a suti is a pickpocket. So what do you think this verb means? Sutta. Sutta is to slip mm. to pickpock. To pickpock. Hi. Put so I pickpocketed the, the context pick of the po of the pocket. Perfect. Okay. And then it's Keegan O. 
を書きたいたいに入れたのは、うん。はい。はぐるま。歯車。歯車。月の造形。造形の円盤が4枚出た。手に止まる。大きさの一貫機械だ。だ。意見をおかしくて、おかしくて、手に。入れたのは、入れたのは、あ、入れたのは、I, I, it's the thing that was inside the hand. はい、because I picked the pocket. はい。Um, uh, 危険を犯して means to brave danger, to stand in front of danger, basically. Heedless of danger. Thing. The thing, I'm um, a brave danger, and in the hand, um, is a um, you know, and in the hand, it, the thing that is in the hand, right, is Haguru Ma. 好きの造芸の円盤が4枚すいた。Um, it was four, it was four pieces of disc、uh, that are made of ivory、um, and it attaches to Gears. Right. Um, te ni tomaru o kisa no ikai data. It was a machine.、Uh, it was large.、Uh, it was in my hand. And Good guess. Tomaru is... Um, so in the hand was the earlier. Te ni hai data. Thing that I got. Um, the thing that arrived in my hand. Osameru is talking about the fit. He ni osameru okisa. They're not saying oki, it says okisa. Inside the hand. And it's not really talking、osameru. about that. So oki is big. Do you know what okisa means? With a sa? Size is the size. Yes. So, how big is this kikai? Large, large size. Is it large? It's, Did、uh, it say it was large? Is this as big as a it house? Is, on, it, it's, it's as large as the inside of the hand. Basically, yeah. Sumaru. And basically, it's the size that would fit right in your hand, is what it says in there. Teni osamaru okisa. The size of fitting in your hand. Osamaru okisa, the size of a handful, a hand fit. No kikai datta. It was the machine that was the size of a hand. Hi. And do you know why we have a ta right here? Yon mai tuita. Because you, you translate this correctly, but I just want to know if you know why there's a ta here. There's a very specific reason why. And I couldn't tell if you knew it. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Sweet referred to.、Um, To, 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 right? Uh, right. To attach. To, 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 to attach. So here we have the ta form of suku. Hi. It was suita. So it was in the past form.、What's、yeah.、Attached? I guess.、Um, why is there a comma here and not a period? Does that tell us something? We're not ending the sentence here with a period. So, 
is not modifying. This ta is not modifying the next thing. It is modifying the next thing. It is modifying yes. kikai. It is it a is machine. Yes. Yeah, so with relative clauses, you go to the very end of the clause, which is kikai, and then you go backwards. This is why when translating Japanese, going backwards is the easiest. So it's a machine that is the size of about the palm of your hand that, so this machine that has four discs that are um, made out of ivory and, and attached to gears. So this whole thing right here is two relative clauses being used to describe the um, guy. Theoretically, if this um, comma, the comma is here because it wants to make it obvious we're not modifying the te right here. If there was no comma, then this would be modifying the te, which it was not their goal. So the comma is telling us to go at the end of the sentence. If, if that's a help a little bit, that's like a tip. So these type of commas are very um, useful. So it's relative clause, but it's saying it's com not the comma. Right here. But the comma is saying it's the relative clause, but it's not immediately Hi. modifying the following. It's it's going to be further down. Exactly. Or fur further. That's what it tells okay. us. Ah, comma. Without the comma, we would assume that it in modifying modify the immediately the following. Hi. Exactly. Hi. はい。ロワ、これを焼酎。ガチガチ言わせている。言わせている。言わせて。Causative. Right. So it it causes it causes um it causes this thing. He causes this thing to go. Right? I believe it's saying he caused this thing to be called. Like the name of the thing. Which is the shochu kachi kachi. So that's like the name of the um machine. So crowly toward Do this we? object he iwasit is, which is makes it be said, but I, I think it's like being used to be the name. Because I heard yo yobi. I heard yobi much that it true. Yobi like does it with called your body down. Yobu. Iwasit day, I haven't seen it call something by its name so like he was it day like he say so something right it probably hmm. maybe what does soju mean i forgot so uh so 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 uh, always always oh, the clacking kanji. i guess it is like he always makes this thing go clicky clacky I guess that makes sense. Ah, it just is odd. You don't really use you that often with like machines. But I, I guess yeah. that must be I what I guess it... you're right. Just normally you don't use you with machines. It makes it cry out. Because the thing is not call. The thing is not call this. It makes something call. I, I, if the thing was call this, it would be yobu, yobu something like yobi mashita. It is called this. Cool. It's called by this name. Well, toyu can be used. I remember used... watching Hunter Hunter. Well, toyu as like a word can be used to define names of things. Like Buki toyu inu is this dog named Buki, versus Buki toyobu would be the same type of thing to call this dog Buki. But both of them are different ways you can use to refer to calling something by a name. So iu can be used to convey that. Um, 
in general, Yobu is more like um, the idea that it's not the real name is when Yobu tends to show up. So Yobu is like for false names, like nicknames or something that the community calls something, but not necessarily the real name of the object. Uh, so for example, in Natsumai Jincho, the main character says, these seems like these things might be called Yokai. So Yobaredu would be used in there. You use use when you know for sure the name of the object. So I wouldn't really say Yobu saying this is called a computer or this child is called Sam, unless I was like insinuating it's like a nickname. So we could use Yobu to refer to Khan, but he is Khan Waya. So Khan Waya would use Yu, while Khan would use Yobu to see what the difference of those are commonly. Um, but yeah, you're right. This is he makes it make noises. It's just it's odd because I don't normally see you to make a machine to make noises. So that's why I was like, could it mean that? Seems odd. It's yeah. like tateru normally is what's used I, for like I, machines and stuff making noises. So it's tate raseru. I'd be like, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> make the tree make a noise. Maybe the machine has a quality of being alive. Maybe. Maybe it's a living machine. Oh, that might be. Like a magical creature. Hi, hi, hi. Got some AI intelligence going on in here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> ya, hey, ya, no, nakate, nakare. Nebri ga, hey, hey, oe. De unaru yoni nanika i yuno ga oeta. So Nebri is doing something with a low voice. Hi, hi, with hi. a low voice. I unaru. Well, I guess he does the unaru. I unaru. unaru. Unaru yoni as if to. As if to um to nod. Good guess. That's uh, actually nanika. um unazuku. This una unaru una is to growl. Hey. Which is hikui koi. Growl. Hi. But the other one is unazui. Unazui. Unazuku. Hi. Unazuku. Unazuku. Hi. Unazuku. Unazuku. This one is unaru. Not a, so to growl, as if to growl. He speak in a low voice, as if to growl. As if Yomi growling. Is, is a similarity. Yes. He's not actually growling, but it's so, give off the impression that he's growling. Hi, that's how he is. Nani ka iyu no ga. He say something. Right. In a growly way. Right. But it's not. He's just using a low voice. So so. Koeta. I I heard it. Hi hi hi. Audible. It audible to me. This is the passive form. It's not actually that I heard it. It's more like it so was audible this, to me. I heard it would be fine. The difference between the o and the ga is the effort in which you put into listening. So I can hear. Right. I can't hear it. So we're adding can to that. Kikoidu. I can hear okay. nobody I... saying something in a growly like voice. Okay. In the room. Okay. In the room. I uki gen na. Koeda. Okay, so here. Ukigen na is a na adjective. Hi. Describing koe. So, so. Specifically, Uki most likely, nebori's without... koe. Nebori koe. It's without, um, he is like a machine, right? Without machine. Uh, good Gen guess, good guess, good guess. So, hikai is machine. Kigen is your mood. Maybe two of. And is your mood. Your mood, yeah. 
So Fukigen insinuates a Again. bad mood. To be in in a bad mood. Ill humor is also what it can mean. Fukigen. Yeah. The mood is bad. So bad Kiken, a, so Kiken a could insinuate voice. a good mood as well. Uh just the fu makes us know it's bad. Bad mood. Yeah. Okay. So that yes. is where we'll be dropping for the day. So main character Khan, he's crouching in the little dark room. Listening into the other room where Nevity is grumbly and Kuro has his kikiri clacker, his chochu kachi kachi. His, his machine is going clackety clack. Um, and it's our halfway point. So I am going to stop sharing and I'll see you real soon.